Hi, I'm Brent Lanzell, research archaeologist with the Illinois State Archaeological Survey, the American Bottom Field Station, located here in Wood River, Illinois. Uh, this is our submission for the Day of Archaeology. And a little bit about ISAS. ISAS is a state agency associated with the Prairie Research Institute and the uh, University of Illinois. Uh, we are mostly concerned with compliance-based archaeology around transportation projects for the state of Illinois. Since we are located in the St. Louis metropolitan area, this includes many large-scale as well as small-scale projects. Uh, since 2009, we've been working on a project associated with the new Mississippi River Bridge um, crossing into Missouri, uh, which crosses through the uh, East St. Louis Mound Complex, which is a uh, a precinct of the much larger Cahokia urban area, one of the first cities north of Mexico uh, in North America. Uh, for this project, we excavated over 7,000 features, including 1,500 structures, and over the course of three years, we excavated all of the uh, features within the right-of-way of the new project, including identifying a uh, previously undiscovered mound, uh, which was preserved in place. Now, the idea for this project was that I would show you some of the uh, work we do here at ISAS. Um, and since we work on very large projects, as well as a number of small projects, a lot of people working here, and a lot of different people adding contributions to uh, the research we do. Um, so what I thought I'd do here is I'd uh, take you on a tour of the office, and then we journey out into the field and uh, visit some of the field crews that are doing some small projects. Um, and uh, then that'll give you a pretty good idea of the various tasks that archaeologists do on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, let's go. My name is Joe Galloy. I am the research coordinator for the American Bottom Field Station of uh, the Illinois State Archaeological Survey. Um, what I'm doing today is um, sort of finishing up a ceramic analysis that I've been working on for a little while of a site that dates to about 600 to about 900 AD in Monroe County, Illinois. Um, I've been lately working on some materials that are uh, made out of clay, but they're not actually pots. They're um, other pieces of clay that have been formed into other useful sorts of objects. And uh, I'm actually uh, today getting ready to write about these things. Just some little examples of things I've got. Uh, got uh, part of a clay bead, got uh, a little part of uh, uh, a gaming uh, piece made out of clay. These were commonly made out of stone. Uh, from about you know 600 to about 1400 a game was played uh, uh, that we see in archaeological contexts uh, in the Midwest called Chunky. And then uh, I've got a number of other objects here that are actually kind of interesting because they're rare. They're really kind of humdrum, everyday items that people would have used uh, prehistorically. But we don't usually find them preserved in archaeological contexts. Um, at this site, we've actually got quite a number of these, and they're called clay plugs. Uh, they look like these sort of like little um, hemispherical, little dome-shaped uh, clay objects that uh, the underside has a little circle in them. And these would have been used probably to seal up holes in gourds or other sorts of storage containers. They said they're interesting because these things typically don't preserve. Uh, the only reason that we have them preserved is that someone um, must have tossed them into a fire after they were done using the uh, the container or perhaps even they burned the container um, uh, when they were done using it. Um, so that's just an example of something I, I might be working on. Um, I do a variety of different things here. My name is Tamira Brennan and I'm a senior research archaeologist at the American Bottom Division of the Illinois State Archaeological Survey. And my day really varies um, day to day depending on what I'm doing, which is one of the things I love about archaeology. Sometimes I'm in the field doing excavations and other times I'm back here in the lab analyzing all the things that we dug up. Right now I'm working on the Mississippi River Bridge project and I'm looking into uh, feature analysis and ceramic analysis 
And then other tasks include personnel and management, things that aren't so archaeological. But really, um, on any given day, I can find something totally new or different, which is, is the amazing thing, to even be back here in the lab and have new discoveries every day. So this is my workstation, and lately I have been working on a small project from southern Illinois, the Broglio site. It dates from about 5,000 5, years ago to 2,000 years ago. Uh, I've been writing this report, and uh, once I finish that up, I'll go back to working on ceramics uh, for the Mississippi River Bridge project. Uh, for that, we have analyzed over 30,000 individual vessels and 440,000 different ceramic objects. Uh, the analysis is basically finished now and we are moving on into the data crunching and we'll be writing a report on the ceramics very soon. And so we're going to move on in this tour and we'll see you. My name is Miranda Yancey Bailey and I am the GIS specialist here. Um, basically my job is to manage, create, and gather new GIS mapping data. Uh, that includes field mapping. Uh, right now I'm working on finalizing site maps for the East St. Louis project um, and bringing in components from the feature analysis and ceramic analysis as, as the data comes in. I'm Lena Nash and I'm a bioarchaeologist for the American Bottom Field Station and I'm responsible for the excavation and analysis of human skeletal remains and making sure that we are compliant with state and federal laws. My name is Lois Dumay. I am a general archaeological supervisor here at ISAS. I oversee the Washington labeling. I manage the artifact database that tracks the artifacts from the moment they come into the lab to the point where they go into long-term storage. But my favorite part of the job is doing field work. <laughs> my name is Sarah Harkin and I am an archaeological technician here. I do ceramic analysis. So basically what I do is I look through all the ceramics from our site and um, count and weigh it and then take any other measurements that might be necessary to write in a report. Um, right now I'm doing rim analysis, so I have a rim from a pot or vessel, and um, I'll profile it, and then I'll say um, what the surface is like, um, if it's slipped or if it's plain, and also if there's any sort of temper like um, ground up pottery or grit in there, and um, also just say what it is, if it's like a jar or a bowl. I'm Anna Poling and I'm a crew chief here at ISS. I do lab and field work. Right now we're just making lithic inventory sheets. Hello, I'm Matt Motion. I'm an archaeological technician and I also work in the field and I'm helping Anna do the lithic inventory right now. Hi, my name is Luke Plocker and I work for uh, feature analysis for Illinois State Archaeological Survey. Uh, my title is Archaeological Specialist and uh, right now I'm looking at superpositioning between features from the Mississippi River Bridge Project and trying to figure out uh, which one came first to last. We got a situation where three of them are all intermixed with each other and I'm trying to uh, find out exactly how they're related. Um, my name is Dwayne, and I'm a visiting assistant research archaeologist here at ISAS. And I work with the historics and the historic artifacts. And mostly what we've been doing is cataloging and analyzing um, historical artifacts from the Marby project and East St. Louis artifacts. Hey, my name is Claire Dappert. I'm the historic archaeologist here at the American Bottom Field Station. And my big project right now is analyzing the historic artifacts from the New Mississippi River Bridge project. Most of them date between 1880 and 1920. Uh, today, I'm actually writing about the history of East St. Louis.
So we're on our last stop here for the day of archaeology and we're here at Reader Road in Shiloh, Illinois. And uh, what we have here is a field, uh, a field crew excavating a Mississippian house. We actually have two of them here. And uh, this is one of many small projects we have going on in addition to our larger project. And uh, basically at any given point we have one to two crews out digging various sites and uh, this is an example of what we do. Jim Burns. Um, I'm a senior crew chief ISAT, and as Brent mentioned earlier, we're out here on a small site off of Reader Road. It's going to be an interchange off Highway 64. Um, we're working on some Mississippian structures, or wall trenches. Um, basically, we define them at the floor of the basin, <clears throat> excavate the basin out. And then we're able to identify the individual features, wall trenches, buildings, post molds, internal trash pits, such. Here's an example of some of the posts on these maps in the wall trenches. They're showing up fairly well on this site. This is an upland site. Um, we are pretty far away from any major mound groups or Mississippian centers within probably, we're probably 15 miles from them. And uh, typical small, small projects. Day starts off early, it's been hot and sweaty. <laughs> it's a typical summer in <laughs> Illinois. My name is Neil Gunty. I'm uh, a field crew member for ISAS. And right now I'm working on this Mississippian house, trying to put some long cuts in here to find these wall trenches. And uh, when I'm in the lab, I process artifacts and assist with uh, GIS work. Hi, my name is Ben Rohde. I'm a field archaeologist at ISAS. And I'm cutting this pit right now to see how it relates to a wall trench on the floor of this Loman feature. When I'm in the Inside in the lab, I do GIS and mapping. All right, so we reached the end of our day here at ISAS, and we have our last field crew coming in from Southern Illinois. And I'll uh, move out of the way and let them introduce themselves. Uh, my name is Patrick Durst. I'm the statewide survey coordinator here at the American Bottoms Division. Um, we're just coming in from Jackson County near Carbondale, and we've been doing some uh, phase two testing and phase one pedestrian survey projects. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't find much today, but uh, we had some nice long days out in the field, and uh, we're just wrapping up our week. Uh, this is Dale Tucker. Hi, my name is Dale Tucker. Uh, I'm an ArcGIS uh, specialist and a archaeological field technician here with ISAS. This is Dan. Hi, I'm Dan Blodgett, uh, crew chief here at ISAS. Uh, usually do feature analysis, but I'm also involved with a lot of the statewide stuff. Today, so we're a little tired, but it's a good day 